Welcome everyone. In this Python tutorial, we're going to learn how to draw some basic shapes that we're going to later use in our Python face project. So let's go ahead and get started. If you double click on your Python icon, it will bring up your Python interpreter shell. And then let's open a new window. So file new window. And we, we're going to type our program in this window. So let's start off by adding our basic class information that we need that we talked about in our previous first program. So we're going to use the pound sign to comment out our file name. We're just going to call this file basic shapes. .py and go ahead and put your name in. A class which is introduction to computer science and your assignment, which is, this assignment belongs to the Python face project, so we'll put that in there. And this individual assignment is called Basic Shapes. All right, so the first thing that we need to do is import the Myro library. Myro stands for My Robot, and within the Myro library is a graphics library that we're going to use. So let's do that. So we're going to type in from Myro import asterisk. And then we're going to go ahead and create our graphics window. So we'll, we will start with win. This is a variable that's going to hold our window. And then we're going to type in graph win. And, which is a method, and you can recognize it being a method because it has parentheses after it. And in this parentheses, we're going to put some parameters. The first parameter is we're going to name our project. So it would be uh, Python face. And we're putting it in quotes because it's a string literal. And then we're going to create the size of the canvas. So we'll say our canvas is 300 pixels wide by 300 pixels high. And then we'll close that off. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to give our window and our canvas some color. And so what we do there is we call win. And then we say, we call the method set background which is built into the Python graphics library. And then we're going to type in a particular color. So we'll just make it white this time. You can also add uh, red, green, blue values, which we'll talk about a little bit later in more detail about how color works but to type in red, green, and blue values, you can also just type in win.setBackground, then a parentheses, and we do color underscore RGB for red, green, and blue, and then we'll go ahead and type in a value for red, a value for green, and a value for blue. The maximum value you can have for each of these is 255. I notice I made a mistake up here. So I'll take out that W. All right, so we can only have one or the other of these. So I'm going to go ahead and pound, comment out my first one right here. And at this point, let's go ahead and save our window. So we're going to go File and then save as. And then you want to navigate to your folder on the H drive or the student drive in your case. And then you should have a folder already created for your class. And in there you should have a folder for this project. If you don't have a folder already, you can go to the new folder icon and click on it to create one and then just name it. And then double click on that folder 
and now we're going to save our file and we're going to call it basic shapes remember it should match the file name at the top and my spelling and capitalization is the same so and I've ended the file in .py for Python so I'm going to click save once you save it notice that you should get some different colors which indicate different things red indicates that the line has been commented out and orange is used for uh, import statements and green is used for string literals which means that this text will appear on the screen at some point exactly the way it is alright so let's go ahead and run it so I'm going to click run and run module and it'll bring up the interpreter and it'll take a few seconds for it to initialize and there you can see my light blue screen the reason light blue came up was because I commented out the white version using text colors I mean I'm sorry text or string based colors and I used the RGB values here which I set to a light blue okay so let's get started creating our first shape and we're going to create a circle so what we'll need to do is click in our Python interpreter and we'll just make this circle one so we'll name it circle one and then we're setting up a variable and we're doing an assignment statement here and then we're going to call a built-in method for circle in the graphics library and a circle takes a center point and a radius so since my canvas is 300 by 300 and I want my center point to be in the middle I'm going to do my x value as 150 and my y value is 150 and I'll need to put this in parentheses so I'll need two parentheses at the beginning and one here after the Y coordinate and then I'm going to put in a comma and then I'm going to put in my radius which I'm going to say is 100. I'm going to make a relatively large circle in my canvas and I'm going to close it off with parentheses. Now what I can do is I can actually um, I will need to draw this circle to the canvas. So in order to do that, I'm going to type in circle one dot draw, which is another built-in method in the graphics library. And then I'm going to call what I wanted to draw on, which is win, because that's what I set my canvas variable to be. I also might want to change the color of my circle, and I can do this either to the outline of the circle, or I can fill the circle. So let's change the color of the circle. We can do, see, so we'll type in circle one dot set outline and we'll change the circle to red. You could also do black which would be very traditional or you could do um, a dark blue if you knew the red, green, green and blue values. Um, I also want to set the width of this to be kind of wide so you can see the color so I'll do circle one set width and I'll set it to five pixels in width and I'll also fill it but I'm gonna do fill it with another color so circle one dot set fill and I will do um, orange now you may not like my color choices, but you're welcome to change them to anyone that you so choose. If I wanted to do maybe a traditional smiley face, I might set the outline to black and the inside to yellow. So let's just go ahead and do that. We don't want to offend anybody with our color choices. So that's pretty much it so now we're gonna go ahead and save it again 
if you just go to run and run module it, the program will ask you to save it if it needs to be saved so we'll just go ahead and click OK and it will um, send it to our save it to the same place we did before and bring up a next graphic window now notice here that we have a mistake in our typing and it says it gives us an error message and it says we haven't established a center point for our radius for our circle so let's go back and look at our code error here so I'll just go ahead and minimize this and what I see in here is that in the circle code um, I called the circle method but I didn't call the point method so I'm going to type in point right here and so on a circle we have a point its center point is an X value and a Y value which is the middle of my screen here and I've made my circle a hundred pixels wide I'm then drawing the circle on my window I'm setting the outline to black I'm setting the width of the outline to five pixels wide and I'm setting my fill color to yellow so let's go ahead and save it again and run it again and there you go you can see our circle with a hundred radius and our black outline and our yellow fill and our center point should be here at 150 and 150 and we will add some other objects to our face in our next tutorial. Have a good day and see you next time.